photos. Delete what? I think I took a couple of pictures, maybe. <laughs> <clears throat> took a couple pictures? I don't think so. I don't know. I don't think it did, because you have to push the button in the front mm. to take a picture. Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. I have to apologize for this morning's video. Or I made Or actually. yesterday's, actually. <laughs> I made it yesterday, and I got a message from Jane, and I got a message from Doyle, asking if I was okay. I was fine. I didn't realize that I had never finished the process of putting it public. I had it still private. The video was made yesterday, so I asked Doyle. <laughs> He's my sounding board. I said, now because I didn't post it yesterday, does that mean I broke my chain of almost a two-year? And he said, no, he would still count it. So, Doyle, I'm going with you. <laughs> You say I should count it, I will count it. I agree with them. Yeah, it was made yesterday. I made it yesterday. It's just I forgot to post it. So today you get two. One in the morning and one in the evening. Now, I was watching a live today, and it was an exciting live. For those of you that didn't get a chance to see it, I hope you go back and watch it. It was, um, on, it was on Vicki Marie Living Life. It was on her on her uh, channel, and it was with Lori, Fluffy No Mo. They were together. They they had split screens, and it was really interesting. They tried they tried to talk about health mostly, but you know how we are. We go off of the subject, and other things were talked about. But health was the focus, and um, it was very very interesting. And they talked about the um, harvest moon. And I had mentioned in the comment, now see, this is kind of off the topic. We, we all do it. Um, and I had mentioned that I had taken a picture a long time ago of my sister. Now, the harvest moon of the year that I took it, I don't remember what year it was. It was before I was married, so it was a long time. I've been married 40 years, so it's been a long time. The harvest moon was huge. I mean huge. It was like... I could have been Atlas holding up the, the the earth. That's how big it was. It was just huge, and it was a big orange moon. It's It was way bigger than the moons that I've seen lately. And every day I'd say to my sister, Lucy, could you put the wedding dress on so I can take a picture of you holding the moon? Well, she would him and haw, him and haw, and she really didn't want to do it. Well, finally I get her to do it. Now the moon was still pretty big, but it wasn't as big as it was. So it looks like she's holding, I don't know, a maybe a ball of some sort. But really, it was a big, big moon. And, and she's got her hands up like this. And the moon is sitting in her hands, and she's wearing the wedding dress. Now, the wedding dress that she's wearing in the picture, I will put the picture in, uh, is the same wedding dress that my sister Anita, my sister Lucy, and I wore. So it is the same dress. It's a beautiful dress. You'll see the back of it and her holding the moon. And the picture was taken with film, so you don't know what you've got until after the picture has been developed. So you'll have to excuse the graininess of it. And it was a long time ago. I used to take pictures with a... a it was a... Brownie? No, 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 no. This was my Canon. Oh, your Canon. It was a Canon camera, but it was an... Um, it wasn't digital. It was an. It was thirty-five millimeter. Yes. Single and lens. Single lens, and I used to use four hundred. The film was four hundred. There was a two hundred film, but I used to use four hundred because it was let more light in, and it was. You had to adjust the. You had to focus it yourself and everything yourself. It was nothing. Nothing automatic on it. It was all manual. I don't understand. I had to put the fret f the F fret to whatever stops and stops and, and, and I don't remember any of that stuff because now that stuff is all automatic and it just does it for you but I will put that picture in right here
I hope you liked seeing the picture. It's, it was beautiful. It really was amazing to see the moon in, in real life at that time. Um, I also, oh, I already told you about the message from Jane and, and Doyle about the, was there something else I wanted to say? It feels like there was more. Oh, I finished, <laughs> there is more. <laughs> I finished my, um, capelet. This one was, I had done it actually twice before. This is the one that I had put a hundred, um, stitches around and then, um, Karina, Anna said that I could put 130 or just put it to where it goes around my shoulders and then add five stitches. And so I did the 130, but I used a smaller hook. I used an, I think it was an F hook to do this part. And then I used an I hook to do the rest. And I like it a lot better. It fits me nicely. Then while I was listening to um, Laurie and Vicki Marie, I was working on, on a washcloth. I got carried away and I made it really big. It's going to be really big. It's supposed mm. to be like 42 stitches across this part here. And I think I've got 50. <laughs> so I kind of went a little overboard. But it, and now I have to rever now I'm reversing it to get it so that because it's got to, I've got to do the other, the other half. I've done this, the, the bottom half. Now I've got to do the upper half. And so this is what I've been working on. And so I like I, I like to knit only washcloths because I don't make mistakes usually on them. Whereas if you're knitting other stuff, it, you can make mistakes really easy. And, and to try to fix them with knitting is not easy. Crocheting is a lot easier. So if you make a mistake in crocheting, you can just back it up a little bit and just start again. With knitting, you drop a stitch somewhere you have to pull out the thing and then when you're knitting it again you have to hopefully the the string isn't twisted and you have to untwist it and put your needle in oh it's just a lot of monkey shine it's a lot harder well I guess that is everything Jim's looking at me like he doesn't know I don't know mm -hmm. Mr. Brown is doing well little lady did a little flutterfly. I was so surprised. I wish I could catch her on video. But she was running and then she was flapping her wings, which is really amazing because she wasn't doing anything with her wings. I did take the doghouse out from in front of the nesting boxes. So I, because I have a feeling she can get up there. I did leave the milk crate that was there. I left that there, but that's kind of off to the side. So if she really needs to, she can hop up onto that and then hop up onto the shelf and hop up into the nesting box where she likes to sleep. She still hasn't gone up on the roost, but she may do that yet. And Mr. Brown is doing very well in his new rabbit hutch. <laughs> My rooster in a rabbit hutch. Uh, somebody, uh, I think it was Jane, that mentioned whatever channel. Mm -hmm. What other channel? What other other channel? What? Would you find a rooster in a rabbit hutch? Only in this channel. <laughs> so, and he's liking it. He he did well last night. He sat on his roost in that. He was on the roost in the in the guinea pig cage, but now he can just sit up real tall. He can stretch his neck as long as he wants, and he still has room on the, a lot of headroom still. So he's got a, plenty of room, and he's in the big room. The only time he's in that cage is when he's sleeping. At night, when when it gets dark, I will go in there and I'll say, "Okay, Mr. Brown, it's time for bed," and I'll put him up to his cage and have him hop in, and then I turn off the light and tell him good night. <laughs> and then in the morning, we just do the reverse. I turn the lights on and tell him good morning, and we start all over again. So that's what our day is like. And in the be in between, we try to potty some, or we pick up poop. I took him outside today. He had a good time outside, and he went to visit. When I went to get him, because I was watching a video while he was outside, I stay inside. It was cold to, for me outside. It's about 50 degrees. Others will think it's nice, but I don't think it's nice. But um, he was, when I went out to get him, here he was, nose to nose with one of the black hens. He was talking to her, probably, or they were talking through the fence. And... That's what he did today, and that's what I did today, and that's it. Now, I will remember to post this 
So you'll see it in just a little bit. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.